Here are a bunch of pieces of paper. But these aren't just any pieces of paper. These are origami papers. Origami is when you fold a single piece of paper to make all sorts of incredible shapes. You could fold a squirrel, a turtle, and probably the most popular thing you could fold is a swan. But origami can be used for a lot more than just having fun. People have used what they've learned from origami to design buildings, like this door, which closes on a concert stage. And NASA is even using origami when designing future spacecrafts. This thing here is a telescope that NASA is going to use to look at other planets. And this big thing right here is called a starshade. It's responsible for shading the telescope from sunlight. The problem is the starshade needs to be about 111 feet across, but it has to fit right here in the top of a rocket, and that is only 17 feet across. So engineers at NASA turned to origami and built a plan to have the starshade do this. Watch as it unfolds into a single flat piece of material that can shade the telescope. Wow. Now it isn't easy to design something like this. There is no list of directions that you can just follow. You have to experiment and try all sorts of different things to get what you need. NASA has many people who work all day, every day, trying to figure out the best way to fold up the starshade for this telescope. And this challenge is what inspired your challenge for today. Today, you're going to have to discover how you can fold a piece of paper to make some different shapes. Now, don't worry, you won't have to fold an entire starshade, but you will have to experiment with different ideas just like NASA does to get your folds right. Step one, get three square pieces of paper. Once you have your pieces of paper, click continue. Step two, let's go over the rules. Rule number one, you will have three different challenges today. Use only one piece of paper for each challenge. Rule two, you can fold the paper any way you want. Rule three, you cannot cut rip, or crumple the paper. And rule four, you have to be able to explain to a friend or someone around you what you did and why you think your folding is correct. Step three, it's time for your first challenge. Take one piece of paper and fold it into a square that is exactly one fourth the size of your original square. Keep trying until you've figured it out. Once you've solved this challenge, click Next on your video. Now it's a good time to share how you folded your paper and how you know that it is exactly one-fourth the area of the original. Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Step four, it's time for challenge two. Take your second piece of paper and fold it into a triangle that is exactly one-fourth the area of the original square. Once you've solved this challenge, click Next. Now it's time to share how you folded your paper and how you can prove that it's exactly one-fourth the area of the original square. Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Step five, it's time for your last challenge. And this one is a little bit trickier than the rest. Take your last piece of paper and fold it into a square that is exactly one half the area of your original square. Don't get frustrated, and there are actually two ways to solve this problem. So if you find one solution, see if you can find the other as well. Once you've solved this challenge, click Next. Now it's time to share how you folded your paper and how you can prove that it is exactly one half the area of the original square. Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Congratulations on completing today's origami folding challenge. If you enjoyed this challenge, you should keep experimenting and see what shapes you can create with a piece of paper. The possibilities are endless. That's all for now, and stay tuned for next time.